right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right. Which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, this is pretty embarrassing. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it, since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. Gary fell low and broke his crown. Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, Bounty Hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister. All right, guns. No funny business while the Bounty Hunter's away. Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that, so your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter, you, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna chat, it's gonna be good, it's gonna, it's all good, don't worry about this. Don't get shooken up about this, I, don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel weird or anything, I'm not trying, you know what I mean? Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, well, there's something I need to tell you. This is, this is hard. Just give me a second. You got this, Kenny. Come on. What are you doing? Making it awkward. All right, Kenny, you're talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. Never judge me, right? I mean, we're such close partners at this point, you know? Like, nothing I could say could ruin that, right? <laughs> I'm just just kidding around. Just, I'm just joking around. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm out of my body right now, I think. No, I didn't. Fuck off. We are uh, we are heading to Applebee's in the slums, and that's where we're going to in the slums. You know, Gene said Tweet worked at Applebee's, right? So that is that is a makes a it's a good place to start looking for your sister. So that um, that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's say we can fix him up and he, you know back alive. The thing is, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I, I'm just trying to figure out how to say this properly, or, or you know, like communicate um, the, how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh, he knows some things about me that 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 the others don't know, and it's, a, it's nothing too crazy, you know. It's, it, 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 okay, no, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Sorry, I don't mean to be cryptic. I'm just, oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I just don't want you to hate me. So we are heading to... I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Tweak is working today?
Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, we're wondering if someone named Tweeg is working today. He didn't show up for his shift, sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, 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 will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just, you know, it it's going to weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. Y y you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? <sighs> okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm going to be your waiter for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm going to go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, so I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, uh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but wh where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and, well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. No, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something, you know? Open up. Here comes the appetizer train. Chicka, 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 choo choo. Thank you. I ho hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. I'm going to get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So. I led the G3 right to Gatlas. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know, but they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do, do, do you see my problem, right? Like, I, I'm gonna have to tell the other guns what I did, to, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. 
Oh, wonderful. Now, wh what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Not Help me, please. that sentence. We're in okay, love. We gotta get to them. Oh, shit, yeah. We I can't dine and dash. I love this place. Don't want to get blacklisted. Oh, fuck. Okay, th this, this changes shit. This is bad. I'm here live in downtown Blim City where, as you can see, we have been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you're that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Fuckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Gene could be in. Come on, come on, keep Can't believe the pace. But we, we have to get back to the house. That's right. Let's go. We're gonna hurry. Oh yeah, I've been here the whole time. But, but don't worry, I'll keep your secret safe. I'm, I'm not a snitch. to see me, bounty hunter? <laughs> you fucked with the wrong crime syndicate. It's all over. Hand over the Gatlians you stole from us, and then let me kill you. Nice. <laughs> Where the fuck have you 
in. We, we have know everything about you, and back. we still have two also oh, special people who are very worried about you. <laughs> Turn yourself in, and nobody. We're leaving. Got it. Dead. We're all ready, but where can we go in G3 Wolf? I'll handle that. Can you pull off a Hennison maneuver mid warp to juke them? What? Did you make that up? You mean scramble the warp? Fine, yes, scramble the warp. Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp port. I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? Did, did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. It's toxic out there. I set up an atmosphere bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. Don't. What does it matter? Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? God, yes, creature. It, it was our home, and it got all fucked up. We're, we're, we're trying not to think about it too much. Got it. Thank you. Well, it looks like shit. How is it out there? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. We still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Strawberry lips cajoles. And like an asp writhing on burning coals. Moist on my lips. Huh, so your civilization had... All right, good night. All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Gene has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little sum-sum. A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. You're welcome. Let's get to business. I've got something you'll like. 
You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry. But she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. If you're ready, just step through the portal door. Sex good? I don't know. I can't even tell if we're doing it right. We're aliens. None of our shit even lines up correctly. You could be pregnant and I would fucking wonder how that happened. My cum goes all over outside of your body. Well, okay. I don't know if it's good either. Your body is really confusing. God, I'm just so confused. Aren't we in love? You're asking me that, dude. You're the one who dragged me out on this trip. I wasn't looking for anything serious, I just wanted to get laid. But even that turned out to be some weird fucking Hellraiser puzzle. Oh, shut up. Don't blame this on me. There's plenty of ways you could have figured out how to use my equipment, so to speak. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah, thank God. You came just in time to save me. Me is who you came to save. Thank you. Fuck your sister, dude. Woo. Cuckoo! Girls, am I right? Love is tough. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. We were a little worried about you. God, everyone needs to chill out. When have you smoked? What, you're a smoker now? Wait, what is it? Camels? Marble? 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 Marbleos? Marble? Marble? Marbleos? Marbleos? I don't know. What's it to you? What do you want? Well, I don't want to come home. It's not even my home anymore. It's Jean's jack-off mansion, and it's your little clubhouse where you can unwind for a few minutes between bouts of, oh, I don't know, murdering criminal gang lords. Hey, I'll go home. You can take me home. How about that? I'm your new sister. Congratulations. Just get me the fuck out of here. No, you're staying, Tweed. We're in love. Say it. Say we're in love. Okay, never mind. I can't go. I have to be in love with your sister. Look, I hate to be insensitive, but it's dangerous out in space for humans right now. We even got chased out of Blimp City by the G3. Whoa, really? Yeah, it was rough. Listen, I get that there's a lot right now that's bothering you, but can we convince you at least to just come home with us and figure it out there? But I'm busy being in love with Tweeg. Uh, yeah, we're busy. Sorry. So just leave, unless... What else were you worried about? Oh yeah? How? Just say something, anything. Yeah, how about you just let me handle this on my own? You already decided to become a weird alien killing expert. Don't strain yourself trying to be a dating expert, too. Um, yeah, no offense, but you're kind of butting in, dweeb. Hey, only I can talk to them that way. And look, I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Really, I am. I know you didn't want to. But I just, I wanted to know for sure if if we worked or not. Oh, yeah, it's cool. I forgive you. I just think, oh, oh, really? Even after forcing you to leave with me? Yeah, okay, it's fine, yeah. Did you know I almost sold you out to the G3? They were offering, like, a lot of pesos to find out where you were. And that would have been way worse. What the fuck, Twig? You piece of shit! Wait, what? Y y you're joking, right? No, I really almost did it. Like, I had my phone out and everything. If Lizzie hadn't dragged me on this trip, I probably would have. I'm not good. I'm a shithead. Lizzie shouldn't be dating me. Gene was right. And it's a little fucked up because he was being a misogynist, but he was actually right. I do suck, and I'm fine with it. That's just who I am, and I love it. So fuck off. Love it. Sue me if you don't like it, but good luck finding a judge who'll take that case or a lawyer. Fuck it. You're a fucking idiot. Well, Jesus. I was about to do a, a whole thing about how we should take a step back and slow things down, but you know what? Fuck you, Tweek. Yeah, th yeah, Tweek. Fuck you. Hey, thanks for coming to get me. Seriously, it, it means a lot. Uh, okay, enough. Let's go. You got it. Smell you later, Tweek.
You're safe. And okay, happy reunion. Everyone's fine. Can, can we just get back to bounty hunting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clug just sent over the data on Nipulon, so you can head out while I fix Les to it. Did you, uh, know how much firepower this guy's packing? He's gotta be at least ten times as powerful as any of you other Gatlians. Wait, you really think you're gonna be able to fix him? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have them all patched up by the time you get back. You're serious? That, that, that soon? Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Your friend's gonna be just fine. Old Papa Gene watched a bunch of GooTube tutorials, and now he knows his way around cybernetics. That's, that's, that's great. It's, it's just... What? You don't sound too happy. You know how hard I've been working to save this guy? Fuck. Whew, okay. I guess it's now or never, Bounty Hunter. Can you set the other guns down on the table for me, real quick? Hey, everybody. I, I, I need to come clean about... Uh, well, sh phew, this is way tougher than I thought. Spit it out! Yeah, spit it out! No, I, I, I can't. I, you're gonna hate me. That, that, we, we don't have secrets. We're a family! Well, hold on. I might decide to hate him. It's okay, Kenny. You can tell us. Oh, just fucking say it. Okay, fine. If you don't hear it from me, you're just gonna hear it from Les Dewitt when he wakes up. Okay, what if I were to tell you that I'm the reason the G3 invaded Gatlas and enslaved our race? We'll be mad. I, I don't think I could get over it. Yeah, don't say that. You know what? It would really suck to hear you say Kenny, that. Kenny, come on. That's not true, right? No, no, no. That would be impossible. Are you doing a bit? Okay, well, there's, there's more to the story than just a... Oh, fuck, he's scrambling for words. It really is true. He really did cause the downfall of our civilization. Kenny, how? That doesn't even make sense. How could it be your fault? I left Gatlas before the G3 invaded. But but how could that be possible? We didn't even have interstellar travel on Gatlas yet. I ran into an alien smuggler who crashed his ship on our planet, and I was going nowhere, and, and, and he took me with him on these adventures, and it was supposed to be, you know, this fun, awesome thing, and but then we got mixed up doing the wrong job with the wrong crowd. Garmantuous and the G3, and I accidentally led them right to Gatlas. It all happened so fast, I, I thought they killed Let's Do It. I, I told him everything as I watched the light leave his eyes. I, I didn't know he, I didn't know he was gonna survive. You mean you didn't think you'd ever have to tell us the truth. No, 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 that's not it. I, I... Oh, this is all sorts of fucked up, Kenny. I don't even know what to say. See? I'm not the biggest fuck up here. Not now, dude. Everyone, please. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know what I was doing. We're so close to taking down the G3. Let's just... Oh, okay. Let's just pretend you're not the reason everyone we know and love is dead, yeah? Sure. Easy. Done. What's next on the agenda? Forgive Garmantuous too? Come on. That, 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 that's not fair. Don't fight. I'm sure we can all figure this out. No, Creature. He can't just drop that bomb on us and expect everything to be the same. I, I'm sorry. Look, I hate to be this guy, but we're running out of time. Nipulon may not stay where he is for long, so I know things aren't... The ideal, but, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll finish the job. And then you're out of our lives, Kenny. Come on, Sweezy, you don't mean that. Enough! Just pull yourselves together for this mission, at least. You're professionals! You're bounty hunters! Act like it! Mm-hmm. Fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Gather everyone up. It's time to get back on track. Nipulon just flew back into his drug lounge on Port Tarine, so we gotta strike now. Can you handle that? She meanwhile with strawberry lips. Let's just get this over with. And like an ass rising on burning coal. Moist on my lips. Strawberry lips cajoled, and like an asp writhing on burning coals. Moist. Woof! That was a doozy, huh? It's just one thing after another, isn't it? I don't know about all that, but uh, I'm glad you got your sister back. Thanks for doing that. That when men I crush to my dreaded heart, or to their mumbling kisses bear my bust. So faint, so bold, so shy. And so robust, that impotent angel. Okay, we just need to sneak into Nipulon's lounge. Let's try... Can it! 
traitor. We'll handle this one. Kitty, do us all a favor and sit this one out. Hey, stop fighting. I hate it when everyone's fighting. We need to talk things over in a healthy way. No, 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 no. We just need to cover ourselves in goop again. It's not complicated. That's true. We should do that. But I also think we need to have a really fun time at the saloon. So go there first, please. <sighs> Whatever. It's, it's up to you, bounty hunter. Head over to Dregtown and get gooped up or try hashing this out at the saloon. about this whole gasless thing. I know they can hear me right now. I know that's sort of the rule rules we set up, but still, don't they know? Lightly, shall we take a seat at an open table? Okay, creature, this was your big idea. What is there to even talk about? Thank you, everyone, for coming today to the inaugural Big Friendship Meeting. First item on the agenda is... You don't have to do this, creature. No, no, I insist. Kenny doesn't deserve any of this hate, right, Bounty Hunter? Well, thank you, but I... I don't know if that's true. Yeah, you didn't know what you were doing. Just because he's an idiot doesn't mean he gets off scot-free. Yeah, people died. We don't have a home anymore. No, no, stop it! I mean, let's be civil here. We're friends. Are we? Most of my friends don't trigger global genocides. Well, I don't know if that's the best way to phrase it. Oh, yeah? How would you phrase it then? Lightly assisting a global genocide? I didn't know. I, I didn't know what would happen. Oh, fuck off. Like, that makes it any better. But he's also trying to stop it. He's trying to make things right. We all are. It's not, not like he has much choice. You think he's doing this because it's the right thing to do, Bounty Hunter? Thank you, Bounty Hunter. At least you have my back. I have your back too, Kenny. Yeah, thanks, Creature. Yeah, but we don't. Yeah, we still hate you, Kenny. Creature, this isn't getting us anywhere. No, it's going perfectly. It has to be going perfectly, otherwise I'll be sad. Then be sad, Creature. Tough shit. You can just blame Kenny if you want, like we're doing. It's pretty easy. Can we just bail on this little group therapy session we got going on here and get back to the bounty, which is more important? Honestly, I'm right there with you. you know, this, is, this is a lost cause. No, it's not a lost cause. Is it, Bounty Hunter? Yes, we will. Look, look, fine. Maybe. Maybe. But let's just deal with Nippalon first, okay? Can we do that? Whatever. Are we done here? Can we go, Bounty Hunter? Services, we would like to get gooped again if, if, if you could. Oh, 
No can do, partner. See, my little gooper trooper here is sick as can be. Looks like he's not gonna make it. Truth be told, I don't think I'll ever be gooping anybody ever again. Unless we get him that medicine. Mm, medicine? Well, maybe we can help. Oh, no way. Thank you so much. Wow, that's so nice of you. There's a special flower over there on uh, the other side of Tareen Ravine. But good luck getting over there, because that ravine is tearing through the valley, if you know what I mean. Those damn mac and cheese brothers are taking forever to build the bridge. I mean, if you could get them to do their jobs, then maybe we could get the flower and save my little Goopa. Don't worry, we, we, we got it. We could do it. Well, shit. I don't want to get my hopes up, but thank you so much. Hey, you want to see my Kenny impression? Huh? Um, um, can, can, can you stop by the G3 headquarters real quick so, so I can set up? Uh, Kenny's still our friend. No, it's fine. Let him go nuts. Wait, I can do one too. Oh, uh, nobody loves me and I, I suck. Uh, I'm a piece of shit. A big dumb sicko who out here you know i know we're trying to build a bridge but it's like fuck hey, hey, hey whoa whoa buster what are you doing walking on okay so you're not leaving are you you're just fucking barging in what do you want from us hey we're, we're just trying to look for a way across well tough luck you you, you think you own the world you want to get across the ravine you gotta wait for us mac and cheese brothers brothers to do our work yeah yep come on you're telling me there's nothing we can do no sorry pal listen we got our own emotional shit right now, you know, we're, we're on strike until Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers, you know, he comes back from that goddamn saloon in Old Town, and he tells us he loves us Mac and Cheese Brothers, his sons. You, you want us to get your dad to love you? Alright, listen, we just need to hear that he loves us, that's it. We ain't working until we find out, okay? Hey, we're the Mac and Cheese Brothers, yeah! You can't do shit, you're, you're a piece of shit, fuck you! <laughs> Uh, sorry, does anyone know where we can find, uh, Papa Mac and Cheese? Hi, you might be able to help us. We're trying to find a Papa Mac and Cheese. What? Don't want to go get myself in trouble. I'm sorry, we're trying to find a Papa Mac and Cheese. You might maybe be able to point us in the right direction? Hey, you there. Yeah? I'll tell you what Papa Mac and Cheese is. If you do this guy. What? No, no, I me. Mean, please pick anybody but me, please. Well, huh? A duel? Oh, okay, well, you know what? Listen, whatever, we'll do it. You know the rules. Stand five feet apart, count to three, then draw. Last man standing wins the fuck a duel. Come on, man. I, I don't want to do this. Come on, it'll be fucking fun. Go on, then. Get to your mark. Perfect. Here we go, then. Jeez. I'll count you down. Shoot at each other on fucking draw, all right? Three. All right, we got this. Two. I believe in you. I think. One. Fucking draw. That's some quick trigger finger you got there, fuckface. Oh, th thank you. Is he, is he gonna be okay? Oh, yeah, he's dead, but it's fine. We hate him. He's a fucking piece of shit. Anyway, sorry about all that. I was just fucking with you. It's fun to do a whole big tense shootout thing, you know? Yeah, we look. Anyway, I'm Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers. What can I do you for? Oh, uh, we met your kids over at the construction site. Oh, is that so? Yeah, and how are those good-for-nothing pieces of shit doing? They just sent us here to get the confirmation that you love them. That's it. But I hate them. They're shit heels. They ain't fit for the Mac and Cheese Brothers' name. Wait, are you... What? I, you, you don't really want us to tell them that. Yeah, tell them I said I hate them, and I hope they all fucking die. Now leave me the fuck alone. Uh, okay. I guess that's that, then. You are... You're a tough guy, Papa Mac and Cheese Brothers. I'm not changing my mind. Seriously, you gotta fucking leave now. Oh, look who's back. Hey, so what, what, what did Papa say, huh? Th does he love us or not?
Listen, I'm sorry, but he he, he wouldn't say that he, he loves you. He, he wouldn't say it. Oh, fuck him. God, of course, typical piece of shit, asshole, deadbeat dad. You know what? We don't need him. We never did. You gave us the power to love ourselves. Actually, no, no, fuck that. It's not true. I'm lying. We, we need our dad. We need a papa. We need him so bad. I love my dad so much. Even if he hates me, I love him with all my heart. I'm bleeding over, overflowing with love, and I don't care who knows it. It's it, it's a curse to keep loving him, such a shitty, heartless father, but I'm, 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 I'm bursting with love. I'm bursting with love. Oh, my God. Oh, like a fucking bomb yeah. exploding with love for my papa. Oh, like a fucking bomb. Oh, my God. What's going on? What is that thing? It's a feeling. Holy shit. Is that from the love that's happening? Oh, my God. Holy shit. I'm like a fucking... I'm like... It's a, Jesus, these guys need therapy. But hey, it looks like we can cross now, though. All right, we did it. Let's get this back to the goop salesman and fix up his cooper. Distracted. I, I've, I've, I've got a lot on my mind, you know, like all my friends blaming me for genocide. Let's fuck shit up. you to use my glob shot. I'm not your favorite guy. I know, I know, I know. It's all good, though. Goopa's life. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. It was easy, man. Don't mention it. Okay. Oh, my God. As good as new. You really saved his life. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Oh, that's right. He could shit his goop all over you. Oh. 
Wow, your hero is so nice, his boobs gonna last even longer than before. So you're gonna be covered in shit for such a long time. That's great. Oh, I can't believe you covered yourself in this stuff to save me. Like, I know I'm the best gun and everything, but still, this is nasty. Wow, you look great. Real goopy, real shitty. You know, they had one of these in Akira. And I think Evangelion, you ever see those? Anime exists in space, you know? Did I tell you that already about anime? Space people love anime. You know, we love all anime. It's considered taboo not to like anime in space. We even like that show Code Lyoko. You know that Cartoon Network show from like 20 years ago that kind of looked like uh, anime except everyone had huge foreheads for some reason? Yeah, we liked it. You know what else had an elevator like this? I think Final Fantasy VII. Definitely, I think Chrono Trigger, Resident Evil 2. Y you remember those games? You probably don't know them. We only have them here in space. They're space games. I bet there's no Earth equivalent at all. You think they'll even notice us, since we're in disguise? I bet we can just walk right past them. G3 Minion, you must be here for your one free spa day. Please enjoy your stay. I knew we'd succeed by working together. It was really obvious. Hello, esteemed G3 Minion. Thank you for redeeming your one-time-only free spa day. Please continue forward.